That, that sale cost us around $300 and a brand new sale was going to cost us $1,500. So it's like, well, that's a no-brainer. If it's a triangle, that, that's all we need. This is the main sale from a Sabre 34. I know what you might be thinking. SV Someday Crew, you don't have a Sabre 34. Well, surprise! <laughs> We, we don't have a Sabre 34. <laughs> we have a Catalina 30 with a tall rig, which makes the mainsail off of a Sabre 34 fit our triangle. And this one is not brand new. It is new to us, so that's probably better than we got. Uh, the reason we got a new sail in the first place is because we're tired of the roach of our sail getting hung on the backstay and having to, to do stuff to get it past there. Hopefully this one is going to fit the triangle better, and if it doesn't, it's experimental, and we'll just cut it and sew it and fix it up the way it needs to be. So let's take a look at the new sail before that storm gets here, which you can hear rumbling in the background. Of course, the second we roll the sail all the way out, a thunderstorm rolls up and prevents us from doing our work. So we either have to wait for another day or move the operation into the garage. Four to six more days later. Our new to us Sabre 34 sail has slugs on the luff and we have slides so we have to rip all those off and replace it with slides and then the foot of the sail has slides on it and obviously our boom has slugs so we have to take those off we're just going to leave those off and go with a uh, with a loose foot but it also has these traveler cars that we have to take off uh, they're they're kind of worn out some of the wheels are missing so we figured it would probably be best to just get rid of those and we've got some new batten caps to put right here and then uh, we'll replace the bat. Oh, it doesn't have battens, so we're going to put battens in it, replace this hardware. Uh, we're going to put slides all along the luff. And uh, I've almost gotten all of the stickers and, and numbers and logos off. I'll show you the process for that here in a minute. And uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close to having it stripped down and ready to put all our new hardware on. Should be pretty cool. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to get these numbers and logos off of this Sabre 34 sale. Uh, ironically, it's a Sabre 34 sale and the sale number was 334. So on each side there were three threes and two fours. So a co collectively six threes and four fours. Numerologists would probably have a field day with that. But anyway, what I ended up doing is finding some goof off uh, pro strength stuff and that seemed to do the trick. It's still a lot of a lot of scratching and scraping with a with a cloth to rub off all that sticky stuff, and uh, I don't know if I if I never have to remove numbers or logos off a of sale again, it'll be way too soon. Uh, but having said that, I'm down to the last number, uh, and so I'm going to show you guys how I did that. So first things first, if you think about numbers on a sale, you have the sale, and then the sticky stuff, and then the number. So the theory, and at least what works for me, is to flip the sail upside down and spray the stuff on the back side so it goes straight through the uh, Dacron into the sticky stuff. If you spray it on the other side, it has to go through the number. You don't really want to pull the number off the sticky stuff. You want to pull the number and the sticky stuff off the sail. So first things first, we've got to flip this sail upside down. The sail is upside down and you can see the four right there. So I'm just going to take my bottle of trusty uh, Goof Off Pro Strength and just spray it all over the back side of that four. I'm trying to be careful not to get it on that seam, but something's going to go through there anyway. So I spray like a whole bunch of that on there. And it's really caustic, so it really smells bad and it's probably not good to breathe it. But So the next thing we're going to do is put a paper towel over it. Ah, a paper towel's flying away. So I put a piece of paper towel over there because it's a million degrees here in Texas in the summer. And this just lets it soak in and stay soaking. So we'll just get that good and wet. Ah. And you're probably not supposed to touch this either, but way too, too late to worry about things like that. So we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes. Okay, so the stuff is dried and the four is ready to come up. I'm going to take my trusty knife here and just, I'm just kind of laying it. I'm not even touching the sail with the tip, but just kind of running that up under uh, the edge of that a little bit just to kind of get it started. And uh, it basically just sort of peels right off. So that one looks pretty good. You don't want to see the sticky stuff below it. That's where you have a problem. That's the stuff. If you pull hard or quick, 
the sticky stuff stays behind, so the key is to go real slow. So I'm going to peel the rest of this off and uh, see where we're at. So I don't know if you can see it still. Maybe you can, but there's a little bit of sticky stuff. That that number actually came off better than any other number. So uh, maybe I should have demonstrated the first one that I did instead of the last one. So the number's off, and now we just gotta get that sticky residue off of there. And the way we do that is to spray a little more of that stuff on there, take a terry cloth and just kinda rub it around, and eventually it goes away. It usually takes three or four tries. Okay, she's gone. Not too bad. I'm pleased with the result on that one actually. So I'm not that concerned about a little bit of residue because we're going to wash this sail. Okay, cool. So there is no longer any old hardware or software on this sale. So at this point, it is no longer about deconstruction, it's about construction. So what does that entail? Well, we're going to put new slides on, and instead of using the webbing that's uh, sewed onto the sale, we're going to use shackles, some heavy-duty shackles, and see if that works for us. Uh, along the foot, like we said, we're not going to do anything, we just have a loose foot. Uh, and I've got some insignia material from Sailrat, and we're going to make a new Catalina 30 logo. We've got new numbers to put on, new telltales, uh, pretty much everything, everything you need for a sail. We're also going to go through, and if we see any spots or any weird things, we're going to use sail tape or whatnot to patch them up. I think there's a we found a rip in the leech somewhere, but we've got the uh, the sleeve to sew on there to fix it with. So instead of sewing our slides onto webbing and into the sail like we did in our old sail, uh, we're using shackles this time. So we have these plastic shackles in our slides, and so the point of this is to take the screw out. You just push this through here, like that. It's kind of hard to get in there. And then this piece just goes through the grommet in the sail, and then you put your screw in. Actually, it goes on this side. Uh, I figured it's better to probably do it this way instead of sewing it on because if we need to repair it it'll be that much easier. Doing it'll just screw something on or off uh, seems way better <laughs> than having to use webbing and a needle and a and a palm and all that kind of stuff. So you just screw this on here. Just like that. Easy peasy. No problem. So we did that all along the luff. There is another place on the headboard for another slide and it had one on this sail before I took it off but we don't have one on our current sail so we just put our shackle through here and we don't use a slide there and that's good for us because the first one's only right there it's not that far but it allows us to flop the top of it over when the sail's not up that way it's nice and tidy and it fits under our sail cover since we removed the batten car system we have to replace it with something that can hold the batten so we've got these uh, Bainbridge A303 batten end cap protectors I believe they're called uh, so basically you put this here and it's got a bottom piece and you screw those together onto the sail and then your batten slides through this way and it goes into that little gap right there to hold these in place it's slightly less than ideal because the sail has these holes in it already where the other ones were but we're going to use sail tape to cover up those holes on both sides i think that should probably do it uh, time will tell if not we'll figure out something else but for the time being we're just going to screw these on and we've got some battens we'll have to cut down to size and they have rubber end caps that go on there so i'm going to attach one of these right now Now that the batten cap is on, uh, the next thing we gotta do is put the batten in. So we have a, I bought a bunch of batten length and we have to cut it down. So the first thing we do is slide it through the pocket there all the way to the front. You can see it poke through and go into that pocket. So it goes to the pocket. Then I measure the end of the pocket right here and then I cut it off with a hacksaw. Then we stick two uh, rubber things on the end and, and that's that. After I measure it, I make another line a little bit short of that mark just to give the uh, pocket room to flop over and a little bit of extra room for our rubber cap. The batten is cut, the caps are on, so our Velcro goes like this, our little pocket seals up like that. So flap one this way, flap one this way, 
put the batten in, slide it until it hits the pocket. And we have about this much sticking out at the end. Hopefully that's right, I have no idea. First time I've done this. So then that Velcro goes down like that. That Velcro goes down like that. And that's it. One batten in place. I already did the long batten at the end of the sail. Now I just have to do the two in the middle. And at that point, I think we're ready for some software. So I got one side of the sail done, uh, the logo and the numbers. Uh, in hindsight, I kind of wish I wouldn't have traced our old logo and instead, just made a new one because it turns out it's kind of funky on the sail but our old one was funky so it's not symmetrical no, no one will ever notice if I didn't say it nobody would ever be able to tell numbers went on relatively easy kind of hard to get the logo on because it's a it's a diamond shape with holes in it but the numbers inside the logo went on easy so here's what it looks like Now that one side's done, all I have to do is flip the sail over and do the other side. Uh, I checked the temperature a while ago, it was 6,000 degrees out here. So I'm having to stop every five minutes and uh, kind of towel off and, and uh, rehydrate. So it's kind of painful, but you know, you do what you gotta do. The easiest way I found to put the numbers on is to lay them up, down on the sail and measure from the luff and from a close batten, make sure the, the distances are all the same. And then use scotch tape to scotch tape the numbers down and then have a look from all around to make sure that it looks right before you actually peel it off. I also have been taking a pencil and lightly tracing around the numbers so that when I do stick it on, I can tell how far off I am and kind of correct it as I go. The other numbers aren't that hard. I don't think these ones will be that hard. And once we get that done, we are down to uh, uh, just repairs if we can find any. I don't know if there are any to be done and telltales and then we are ready to go Have I mentioned it hot? It really hot So we got the sail completely done. Got the telltales on. Uh, we found a few places where there was a, on the luff where there was a little bit of a rip. So we, we got the little sleeve piece to put across there and sew it on. But for the time being, we just put a piece of sail tape on there just to get us by for now. We'll sew that on later if we need to, maybe we don't. So we got the numbers here, got the logo over here. And uh, yeah, I think we're completely ready to go at this point. All we gotta do is take her to the boat and put it on. A couple days, we'll be sailing with this bad boy, and we're super excited. My head is aching. Maybe you should see a doctor. My head is aching. Maybe you should see a doctor. <laughs>
thanks for watching our video we got our new sail installed and so along with our new sail apparently we got a, a autopilot with it too because uh, once we got the sails trimmed um, with the new sail on there we could just set the sails uh, get them trimmed and just kind of step away from the helm and the boat would just go it was balanced so it would just go as it needed to go yeah everything seemed to be balanced more with this sail than it would the, did with the other sail uh, we were probably probably a solid two hours out of the first out of the day or two that we sailed with it so far we would just get locked into a position where everything was just balanced we didn't have to touch the steering we don't have an autopilot but we didn't have to touch the steering wheel we didn't have to adjust the sails we didn't have to do anything we just sailed <laughs> That feels pretty good. That seems like a step in the right direction. Also, it doesn't hit our backstay anymore. That was the number That's, one priority. Yeah. We don't want it to hit the backstay and have to grab this thing and shake it to get it past there. And that it's doesn't happen anymore. better. Because the first time that happened, it scared the crap out of us because yeah. we didn't even know what it was. We so. made a tack and it was just hung and we didn't know it. And then it popped loose like two minutes later when a gust of wind came by. The other sail also was really thick. Real thick Dacron and Crispy. really crunchy and hard. And when we took it to sail off, the guy was like, oh, this, this has got, great. yeah, this is a great sail. I'm like, okay, but the new one is a little bit, I don't know that I'd call it thinner. I would just call it softer, I guess would be what I'd go with. It's just a softer seeming material. But I think they're both Dacron as far as I know. Yeah. And, and there probably is a time and a place easier for that old sail. Yeah, easier to manage. Th yeah, this one is way easier to manage. For our needs right now, learning, still learning how to sail, this is way better. Thanks for watching. Um, remember to give us a like helps us out subscribe if you want to be notified of future videos um, and leave a comment so uh, we know that you like watching the videos yeah anyway have a good one catch you later adios amigos